Welcome to Classic Valley Investors and Microcap Explosions. This is Mariusz Skonieczny. I think it's time for a reality check here and for some honest talk. Because I think some of you might have a bad idea of what this channel or what Microcap Explosions or me are all about. Okay? I heard this expression from one of the members is that we have been spoiled by your ideas. And I have a feeling that some people might be signing up to this channel or signing up for micro cap explosions with unrealistic expectations about investing. So in this video, I need to set the record straight. So that we don't get people becoming part of this channel or microcap explosions that shouldn't be part of it. And, and if you don't have the right mindset, or if you have no idea about what investing is about and you have the wrong philosophy, I don't want you subscribing to this channel and I definitely don't want you part of microcap explosions okay I don't need your money okay I have enough money that I don't need your fifteen hundred dollars take your fifteen hundred dollars and go somewhere else okay that's not what I am about that's not what this channel is about okay so what what made me want to make this video few things that pissed me off this week that I need to address okay one thing is that if you've been listening to this channel you know that I did a very heavy uh, scuttlebutt recently which led into us as microcap explosions being part of a private placement and that private placement is ongoing right now we are doing it right now as I speak it didn't close yet we are doing this but when I posted the new idea on the website I mistakenly uh, posted it during on Friday I think it was last Friday or something like that mistakenly posted it during the trading hours and I say mistakenly because I didn't want my piece to affect the stock price because Microcap means small companies and a lot of times they don't have a lot of liquidity so a little bit of buying or selling causes the stock price to go down and for whatever reason the buying or selling is it is volatile so I didn't want to put this idea out there because I didn't want the stock to move but anyway before I posted the idea the the stock price was a little bit below what the private placement was priced at and uh, right after like literally two hours after I posted it or two hours that was left during the trading hours this the stock price went above what it went like 20% or something like this so the stock price closed at more than what the private placement was set at and you know um, I collected the applications from about 60 people and during the during the following week as people were submitting the applications and wiring money the stock price was you know go all over the place and and now it is below what the private placement was set at so most of the people already sent the money well, pretty much all of the people send the money and one person responded to me this morning when I asked about the status of the wire saying that yes I sent the money but I wish I didn't because his stock is down and I already lost five thousand dollars now I'm thinking to myself is this for real like it hasn't even been a week and the person is keeping score now at first I was thinking to myself should I throw this person out of the group or should I explain 
investing to somebody like this. So if you are out there, okay, thinking about subscribing to MicroCap Explosions because you see my videos, because you see success with Oracle, and that's why you're subscribing, I want you to stay, stay the fuck away. I don't want you part of MicroCap Explosions. All the ideas on MicroCap Explosions are, most of the ideas are small companies, which means they're volatile. And if you enter any idea on MicroCap Explosions, you have to have a long-term outlook, which means years, not days, not weeks, years. Okay, and any idea that's posted on there, any idea can drop 20 or 30% within minutes on nothing, absolutely nothing. Because Bob woke up one day thinking, huh, what should I sell today? Oh, I'm going to sell this one. And then there are no buyers and the stock drops 30% on nothing. One time I made a video when I bought something, I went to take a nap. By the time I woke up from a nap, the stock was down 30%. What am I supposed to do? Am I supposed to cry about it? No, that's the territory that you are in, okay? And if you cannot take the volatility, stay the fuck away from microcap explosions. Do you understand? Stay away. I don't want you as a subscriber because you're causing more problem, you're causing more trouble than you are worth it. And I definitely don't need your money. Next, I want to give you an example of what people have no idea that happened with Oracle. When I first bought it a few years ago, I will never forget this. So I bought the stock for like four cents, you know, four and a half. And I loaded, I loaded up. I put most of my net worth into it. Okay. Then within a few weeks, um, the stock like doubled. So, yeah, so of course, you know, you pet yourself and you feel great about yourself. And at that time, it was probably around eight cents. I called Kalichi and we're talking on the phone about the, the company while we're talking on the phone. So remember, it goes from four to eight. While I'm talking to Kalichi, the stock drops to two cents. It goes from eight to two cents while we're talking on the phone and now most of my net worth is in it and the stock goes like down 75 percent boom just like this welcome to microcap explosions welcome to small stocks and of course you know within minutes it recovered but not all it didn't recover all it went it only went to six so it just shows you if you want to be successful in investing, not trading, if you want to be a trader, again, stay the fuck away from microcap explosions, okay? That's not the platform for you, okay? If you want to uh, be a long-term uh, investor, if you want to have a chance at the kind of returns that I generated, then, then yeah, you're welcome to join, but you better have your head straight, okay? Now, another text that caused me to make this video which is from my friend and really pissed me off. And, and I'm sure he's gonna say something about it, but I don't care. He knows that when he says something stupid, I'll just say it to him right back and set him straight. So, you know, a few months ago, I made a video about how I sold uh, the tankers for an opportunity that I thought I had to be part of. And, and at first, uh, well, at first the stock didn't really move and then it moved. So then it went up like 4X while the tankers didn't do anything. And now recently, because a lot of the uh, technology stocks, you know, have been weak, that stock has also been weak. So it went from being a 4X to being only like 2X, right? And I don't really pay attention to it that much because again, when I enter into a position, you know, I commit. I commit. I want to stay in it for many years. And I think from these levels, it's probably going to be 20, 30 X, you know, assuming I'm correct on the business, right? Which will take time. It takes time for the business to develop, to get new clients, blah, 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 take the product out to the market. It, it takes time, right? But 
movement in the stock price can happen quickly because people can change their mind, their enthusiasm very quickly, right? So, so I get a text from him. I'm going to read it to you. Um, you know, this company X is doing horrible. And this particular person that was against it on microcap explosions is laughing right now. Hopefully, uh, the CEO succeeds in execution. I mean, all I said is OMG, okay? Oh my God, that's all I could say to this. It's one of the stupidest comments I got this week. The company X is doing horrible. What makes you think it's doing horrible? Do you know what's happening to the business? Have you talked to the CEO? No, the stock is doing horrible. So, the, so therefore it's doing horrible. It's not doing horrible. And stop looking at this stock price and either you commit or you don't commit. Final showcase of incredible stupidity. That So one of the reasons why I don't wanna have a hedge fund and I don't wanna manage people's money is because of people's stupidity, okay? And it, I went through this uh, during the years that I was invested in the miners where for good reason, for a good reason, I lost, you know, probably 98% of my clients and I don't want to do go through this again. But one of the clients that still stayed with me had 50,000 shares of Oracle. And, and when COVID hit, he contacted me and asked me to liquidate, liquidate the whole thing. Yes, all 50,000 shares at 20 cents. Now, there was no talk of explaining to him, don't do it, it's gonna be fine. No, he wanted it liquidated. And now it was a little bit different because he was my friend. So th those 50,000 shares, I actually bought it for him in my own account, okay? So he asked me to liquidate it in March, April, of 2020. Now, I didn't want to sell them and I didn't sell them. So what I did is I was making payments to him to pay him off that, because at that time, that 50,000 shares at 20 cents, it was like $10,000. So now I told him, I'm going to pay it. I'm going to pay it back to you over months and every month I was sending him like a thousand, two thousand dollars and I didn't have the cash flow at that time because as you know at that time I was most of my income was coming from yeah books I didn't have micro cap explosions but it was coming from ballroom dancing and when COVID hit of course everybody canceled their lessons so but I still had to pay him so it was very difficult to pay him the ten thousand dollars without selling the position but I wanted to protect that position. But eventually within eight months, I was able to pay him off everything. Now, fast forward to today, that 50,000 shares that he sold would have been worth $150,000. But no, he wanted the money right away, right there. So he got, he got his $10,000. It was very difficult for me to get it done, but I got it done. And now I'm, I'm holding those 50,000 shares that were supposed to be for him. Now I have it in my account and it's worth $150,000. So he left off $150,000 because of a fucking stupidity. So in conclusion, now, if you have the wrong mindset, if you are an idiot, if you think short term, I do not want you part of this channel or microcap explosions. Stay the fuck away from microcap explosions. It is not for you. Microcap explosions is for people who have the right mindset, people who think long-term, and people who are not bothered by volatility. And I wanna bring it up now because apparently I am very popular right now. So people are signing up, maybe for the wrong reason. If you don't have the right mindset, stay away.